Yo, what is going on guys? Prevised here. I'm going to be teaching you how to make a buying system. Now this is going to be a very basic tutorial and it's not, I'm not going to be teaching you how to buy items yet, not just yet. Uh, I'm just going to show you the very basics of how a buying system works and it just takes basic math, uh, very basic math and uh, just pretty much subtracting your amount of money and stuff just to show you how it works. So, what uh, we need to do, we're going to be inside of each player, we're going to have a value called cash, or it could be whatever you want, but we're going to do cash for this tutorial. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have a, as an int value, either a number value or int value, I would rather a num uh, int value uh, instead of a number value, because number values hold like a, a decimal place and stuff, but int values... Uh, they don't have a decimal place, so it's just a rounded off number, I guess. So first off, we're going to start off with a server script inside of server script service. We're going to open that, right click, oh, and um, before that, just go to the view tab and open explore and properties, and you should have explore properties open, and uh, you can drag them wherever. So I'll put mine up here. So let's right click on server script service, insert object, a script. So this is a server script, and a local script looks like uh, local script if you didn't know what a local script looks like is looks like a little character oh well I could have just pointed it out but uh, local scripts look like these server scripts look like these so you know open up the server script um, actually let's name this stats okay let's open it up so we're gonna start off with a uh, player added event which fires whenever the player gets added. So we're gonna do game dot players. Let me move my mic a little. Game dot players dot player added connect function. Okay. Um player added takes a parameter of the player that joins. So we're gonna put in player in here. Okay. So now this is saying whenever the player joins, then we're gonna put something in here. So um, also, if you didn't know, instead of pressing spaces to do some indentions, just press the tab key to indent. Okay, so whenever the player joins, we're gonna have the uh, int value go inside the player. So we have the player already, which is this. Then we're gonna do local uh, cache equals uh, instance dot instance dot new. And then we're going to have an int value, like I was saying earlier, an int value, oh my gosh, int value, um, then we're going to change the parent, which is putting a comma, so the parent's going to be the player. Alright, um, you could have just done cache.parent equals player, but we can just have that comma added and then just putting player right after. So, then we're going to do cache.name equals cash uh, then cash dot value equals zero so we're gonna start off with zero cash um, now say you wanted to I'm just gonna add this in say you wanted maybe your player to have a certain amount of cash you could do if player dot name name is equal to and then you put your name here then just want to show you guys this then you can have like 999 cash and then you could put else else cash dot value equals zero so what they also saying is if your player dot name is does not equal to fire dust then it's gonna bring it then it's gonna give you zero cash um, it's better to use player dot user ID but I just wanted to show you something very quick. Um, so cash dot value equals zero. Whoops. Zero. All right. So now that we have that, uh, now what we're going to do. Um, also, hold on. I was forgetting. So this is going to work uh, for what we're trying to do. But say you wanted the cash to actually show up for everyone. Like, you know, in the leader stats, like on the top right where it shows cash and then you can see everybody's which as you can see you can't see it now 
So this is how it's set up. As you can see, inside our player, that it added cash. It's an end value. We could change the number too. But say we want it to show up like right here, you know, so everyone can see your cash. To do that, we're gonna need we're gonna need a folder inside our player. So local stats. We'll just name it stats equals, <coughs> or let's just name it folder. Okay, equals instance dot new. Oh, instance dot new. I'm gonna make a folder. I'm gonna insert this folder inside of the player. Okay. I'm gonna name the folder folder dot name equals. Make sure it's a lowercase l leader stats. All right. Now we're gonna put the cache inside of folder. Okay. Instead of the player. So let's see how this is all set up. So we have the folder called leader stats. Inside we have cache. We could change the value. So if we change the value to that, as you can see, we have that much cash. So now what we're going to do is we're going to now make a, a GUI, okay? Let's, um, so we're going to right-click on start a GUI, insert object, a screen GUI. Try not to get confused too much with, uh, let's see, with all these other GUIs. So screen GUI, let's name this uh, shop GUI. All right, so in our shop GUI, right-click, insert object. We're just gonna insert a text button, okay? Um, so this is the very basics. I can make a part two if I need, which I most likely will. All right, so we're gonna change. We're just gonna keep the size because this is. I just want to show the basics. All right, so we're gonna do by buy something that's just gonna be the text so we're gonna have this just subtract a certain amount actually what we're gonna do in stats we're just gonna give ourselves a thousand cash at the start I'm gonna subtract 500 whenever we press on this GY uh, so we're gonna insert a local script inside the button okay we're just gonna name it buy handler all right so we're gonna have a um, let's get the player first off local player equals game dot players dot local player let's get the character equals so we're gonna get um, equals player dot character yeah r player dot character added weight so what it's saying is the character equals player dot character but if the character has not been loaded yet then it's gonna go with the R and then it's gonna just wait for the character that's what it's saying um, now we're gonna do uh, script dot parent dot mouse button one click connect function All right it takes no parameter okay so what it's saying is once we click on the GUI uh, then it's gonna run the code now if you wonder what script well script is the script that we're inside which is by handler okay then it goes dot parent which is gets the text button because uh, the text button is the parent of by handler and by handler is the child of text button I know that might sound a little confusing but yeah and then mouse button one click works is an event for text buttons so it's gonna fire if we click on it so then we want to do um, I'm gonna go inside the player so we're gonna do player I'm gonna wait for child I'm gonna wait for the folder because folder is the thing that we have made inside and then we're gonna just add another wait for child um, no, let's just do folder yeah let's just do wait for child because some of you guys might get an error um, and then want to hate on this video because it doesn't work <laughs> uh, wait for child and then we're gonna uh, have the cash okay so we're gonna take the cash actually let's make a variable up here local local cash equals player wait for child folder and cash alright so we're gonna do Change this to cache since we already have the variable cache dot value equals cache dot value minus five hundred. So we're taking the the original value, and we're gonna change it to the original value value, but subtracting five hundred. That's what it's saying. So, um, 
So I know some of you guys might want money. So say you want the value to be money, okay? And we just reached 10 minutes. Say you want it money. Well, all you can all you really have to do is change this to money. Um I believe so. Yeah, name money. But to make more sense, just change all these to money. So you want money, you change that to money, 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 and then you would go in your local script, and then to make more sense, you just change. You can change this to money, 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 money. Yeah, that's basically it. But let me just keep it as money for now. So we'll test this, and we'll see what happens. All right, so we have thousand. Um, okay, uh, it's waiting for a folder. Oh, I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, it's leader stats. I don't know why I put fo I put folder because we was inserting a folder, so I don't know why I did that. So, leader stats is the thing inside the player. So, press on it. Negative five hundred. Press on it again. Negative five hundred. Um, don't worry. This is not for that script that we just made. So say you wanted to just uh, press it once. Well, pr we'll get to that later in another tutorial. But that's the basic buying system. I know we reached 11 minutes. That's kind of long. But I just wanted to explain. Unlike other tutorials, they don't really explain too much. Um, I mean, I could have explained a little more. But this video would probably take like over 40 minutes to upload. Because my internet speed and computer speed is pretty slow. Anyways, thanks for watching. Later.